Okay, our next news is an update over the news we shared last week about the Dalai Lama and his comments. Um, so this news is out of India. The Dalai, the Dalai Lama is deeply sorry for remarks about women. Dalai Lama, the Tibetan spiritual leader, has apologized for controversial comments about the possibility of a woman succeeding him. Uh, he said that in the future, female Dalai Lama should be attractive, but a statement from his office apologized for his words, suggesting he had been joking. He is deeply sorry that people have been hurt by what he said and offers sincere apologies. So it wasn't just about his, uh, his comments about women. As Armin and I pointed out last week, uh, what he said about immigrants was completely taken out of context. But not um, this one. Did. Not the woman one was <laughs> taken out of context. Right? No, no, no. Just about immigration. He said, "Woman." Um, he said, "The next one, the Lama, if if it's a if if it's a woman, has to be hot. That's has what, to be hot. Has to be hot." He and said that, was, that if she's not hot, <laughs> no one will pay attention to her because nobody wants to look at something that's not attractive. So and and. <laughs> He's saying that was taken out of context because that yes. was not taken out of context. How, how was that taken out of context? So they're saying that the language and cultural differences Bullshit. among people in the world. <laughs> oh, different cultures of people in the world. You know, this is so, this is so hypocritical because he himself was criticizing immigrants, which is for having, you know, bringing <laughs> bad different cultures and stuff, right? To Europe, right. and now he's saying like, "Oh, this is just my culture." Well, wait a <laughs> minute. No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. You you don't get to you get to use that card if your culture. If that's your culture, well, then you have a fucked up culture. You can't use the culture card every time you do the shitty thing, right? So right. yeah, I mean, if your culture says that, hey, like I want the next Alama to be, I mean, it's so weird. <laughs> but, so wait, is he? Which excuse is he using? Is he b using both? Is he saying it was a joke and this is just our culture that doesn't translate well? Or well, that, because that's he can't, he, yeah, he can't say so, both. Uh, his office is saying he was joking. He's saying that his comments, like, because he didn't just make one comment. He didn't just say, if the next Dalai Lama is a woman, she better be attractive, right? He went on and he went on and he went on. So it you can't just say he was joking that one comment was a joke and that's why he said personally that this was um he didn't mean it the way it came out that what did he mean then? The, between language barriers and cultural differences around the world people have misunderstood what he was trying to say See, i'm excuse i i'm willing to forgive more <laughs> of what he said about women more than this nonsense excuse, right? I think right. Maybe, maybe because the next Dalai Lama is technically him, right? It's a reincarnation of him. I f maybe maybe that's just his fantasy for being a hot woman. I don't know, right? You so know, I, I mean, I would maybe. accept that. I, I can accept that, okay? It's fine. But these excuses are all bullshit, okay? Different. First of all, Maybe get in touch with your office and talk to each other before you give excuses because it seems like they're t using two d different excuses that contradict each other. Because if right. if it was misunderstood and the culture is not, then it wasn't a joke. But if it was a joke, then it's not a culture barrier thing. So which one is it? And if it was taken out of context, then what did it mean? Like, what else could it mean? Come on, it was pretty simple. You said if the next Dalai Lama... Better be, if it's a woman, it better be she better be hot, okay? So or else no people will not pay attention, which is actually <laughs> contradicts himself. I mean, he's not hot and he's famous, so I don't know what he means about that. Um, so yeah, that's bullshit. And we mentioned last week also that a lot of powerful uh, lead, woman leader in the world, Germany, right? Um, where else? We came up with some examples. Uh, and, Madeline O'Hare. Right. These are, these are, they're, you know, they're not smoking hot ladies and they managed to get a lot of followers, right? And attention yeah. and votes. Uh, so that's bullshit. But anyways, that's fine. But the bullshit excuses makes it worse. Did they, when they said we, they were taken out of context, did they mention what they mean? Like, what was the con pro proper? Because I noticed that it, most people, like Muslims, Christians, Hindus, do this as well. When they say out of context, they usually don't give you the right context. They're just like, out of context! And then they just run away when you ask them for the context. So did, yeah. did they give you context for what what? If he didn't mean that, what he, what did he mean? 
No? No. No, he didn't. <laughs> of course, of course not. Um, let me see what the top comment. Uh, Matthew saying, I don't understand why people were so offended. The Dalai Lama is known to have an easygoing and good sense of humor. He was making fun of his own looks for fuck's sake. Well, that's fine. Then don't bo if you I mean, again, this excuse, these excuses, I think it's more bullshit than what he said. Oh, wait, he said Matthew is saying he was making fun of his own looks. That would that would make that but, okay. Would make that talk. would work had he not said nobody will listen to a woman if she's not attractive. Mm. Yeah, and did he explain it though that this is what he was saying? Um, his office released a statement that I can read. Uh, it says that the Dalai Lama has a keen sense of contradictions between materialistic, globalized world he encounters on his travels and the complex, more. Uh, eccentric ideas about reincarnation that are at the heart of the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Um, however, it sometimes happens that off-the-cuff remarks, which might be amusing in one cultural context, lose their humor and translation when brought to another. He regrets any offense that may have been no. given. See, see I'm, I'm actually <clears throat> I'm okay with the joke, okay? If he was just like making a joke, that is fine. Okay, people sh like comedians have said more offensive th things than this. And this guy has a good sense of humor. It might seem being offensive. It's a joke. It's fine. But this excuse is what makes it bad for me. Like to be like, to say that, oh, it's a different culture. No, if, it, if your excuse was this was a joke, hey, don't take it too seriously. It's not that deep. Um, that would be good. But if you just use the culture card. Don't use the fucking culture card because this is what everybody, this is what um, other people do when it comes to uh, this, this excuses, uh, you know, this, uh, the, um, what is it called, um, you know, the r r race is, is um, you know, with the, when it comes to immigrants and brown people and they misbehave and be like, oh, that's just their culture. So you have a lower standard for other people, <clears throat> right? I don't yeah. think that. Um, you should use that as a as a way to excuse bad behavior. In fact, if you just came out strong and be like, "Hey, that was a joke. Whoever got offended go, can go fuck themselves," I would have admired that more than this bullshit excuse that this was a cultural misunderstanding. Because now that you're promoting this excuse that pr uh, endorses bad behavior and lower standard for people of other countries. Uh, Charlie is saying, uh, by the way, I might be wrong. Just let me know if you think I'm wrong. Charlie is saying, I heard the interview. She left the door wide open for him to walk it back. Uh, Neil is saying, I think our species takes itself too seriously these days. Can't say that, can't do this. Thankfully, my sense of humor remains intact and I don't mind having this piss taken out of me sometimes. Okay, this is funny when people say that because people are like, oh, why can't you... Uh, it, People don't let um, these like this would say we're taking ourselves these days too serious too seriously can't say this can't say that no people can say things and other people can react to it when you react to someone's comment and people somebody says like oh what a, what a society we live in nobody can say anything well yeah but that's what we're doing we're reacting to someone else's comment so you're basically be a hypocrite. Because you're, you're complaining, you're doing the exact same thing that you're complaining about. If you react to someone else saying something, it's not stopping them from saying it. You're just reacting to it, right? Like, oh, right. they can't say it? No, they can. And you can react to it. If they can say something, you, you could also say something in response. Uh, Nicole is saying, oh my God, he said a woman needs to be more beautiful than, than him. And that's offensive. LOL, they're ducking. Lord, I am done. No, no, that's not the part I have. Uh, uh, jokes, <coughs> jokes are fine, but you saying different culture as an excuse. I think that's the bullshit part. Uh, oh, GV is saying cultural relativism. Yes, that, but no, the bigotry of lower expectations as well. Both of those things. Um, you were saying it's called the race card. No, here is more the culture card because he didn't say, he didn't use race. He used culture. Right. Yeah. Don't use a culture card, people. It's, it's play, it's, these standards are global, okay? Should be global. Um, and jokes are okay. I'm not... A, it's fine. If he was joking, it was fine. If he, if he doesn't actually believe that women leader ha, leaders have to be beautiful and he was just making a joke, 
I think that's, don't you think, Ellie, that's okay if it was a joke? I think it was it's fine. Absolutely. I think yeah. it's okay. I think we should be able to joke yeah. um, about things like that. So Palmer is saying Buddhism is a misogynist religion. I, I, I agree with that. I don't say, but I wouldn't say that the Dalai Lama is misogynist himself because Buddhism is a misogynist religion. Just like not, just like Islam is a misogynist religion, but not all Muslims are misogynist, right? So, and I think if this was a joke, it doesn't suggest that the Dalai Lama was misogynist. Um, and jokes are fine. I think that ex maybe the excuse that the office gave was worse than the excuse that he gave, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right. Definitely. And I do want to add that uh, there was no apology for his comments on Mr. Trump, who he said had a lack of moral principle. So all these other things he apologized for, he said, were misinterpreted, uh, except for that last one. Yeah. They just wanted to make that clear. If it was a joke, he shouldn't have apologized. In fact, if it was a joke, he should have been like, hey, if you're offended, go fuck yourselves, right? Uh, I mean, in Dalai Lama language, not the way I'm saying it. But the, if it was a joke, then the apology makes it. I, I criticize the apology more than the joke itself. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.